This place was established in uh, 1909. We've uh, just celebrated our 100 uh, year anniversary and it's now already about uh, close to 20 years that the Tipilipi Lodge has been uh, functioning. and boom! Uh, every year it just keeps on surprising me the, the amount of fish, the different ways to catch them, uh, stalking them, uh, spotting them, just watching them feed. Uh, it's uh, such a large diversity. It's still a working ranch, uh, mainly cattle, but one of the main things is uh, all the guest services that we have with the fishing and hunting and the horseback riding. It's just the ambiance that you have at the lodge, the wildness of uh, Patagonia. One of the great things of uh, being in, in a real working ranch um, right here in Patagonia, not, not like in some other parts of the world that everything has been modernized and, and you see, uh, you know, uh, cowboys or ranchers going on their quads to gather their cattle. Here, it's, they, they do, you could see a, a photo of a, a hundred year old branding process and you see one right now and it, it's exactly the same. You know, you have the gauchos with their um, just basic gaucho clothes and their bombachas and their berets and uh, they, they just look great. Everybody sees one and they just instantly want to stop to take their photograph and, and they're always, you know, really nice and accommodating and you see them run the cattle and it's just a, a daily thing of, of the estancia just as it used to be a hundred years ago basically Oh, well done. Good job. The Maron de Patagonia. Good job. Good finale, huh? Yeah.